Good day everyone, and you can probably tell by my overabundance of pink that today is pink Christmas tree day. So I thought we could go down and do a little beachcombing and get some shells and just have fun putting up the tree and putting on some pink decorations and get ready for Christmas because boy do we need a little Christmas right this very minute <laughs> this year more than ever. All right, let's get started. Pink Christmas tree. Let's head on down to the beach. I've got my pink tree for inspiration and let's get some beach combing done to make some homemade Christmas ornaments. Oh look, amongst my nemesis and part-time fair weather friend, Bittersweet, I see a pink Christmas bulb. And as we head down to the Welk tree, has Father Christmas been? Looks like. All right, let's head on down, take our inspiration, our pink, and see what we can find to make some homemade Christmas decorations. Well, before we start beachcombing, I have to do my morning chore of flipping the chairs. It looks like the storm was so strong the other day that one of the oyster cages from in the protected bit of the harbor got washed ashore. So to set that aside for the fishermen for later. But early morning here, I've got my Christmas tree inspiration and we are gonna go beachcombing and see what things we can find. I think for today, I'm just going to grab a few very common shells, something I come across all the time, and something that we can just use a little hot glue and add it to our pink tree. Simple mussel shells, although look at the beautiful purple of that shell. Just use the hot glue gun and have a little fun, and maybe some spray paint, I haven't decided yet. However, I do think I'm gonna cut some of my lace cap hydrangeas which have been drying out front and uh, give them a good little spray of pink paint and see what we can come up with. I don't have a drone. But let's take a fun little fly through the switchgrass. How is that? I wish there was a way to preserve this. I love this particular type of kelp or seaweed. I'm not sure which it is, but see how rubbery it is? The second you leave it out of the sea for longer than a day, it expires and makes the most foul smell. Great for the garden, but probably not good for the Christmas tree. Not sure if you can hear the gulls are really having a feast day over there on the rocks this morning. But I'd say this is a good day to collect beach treasures, to get the old hot glue stick out, glue gun, and make some treasures for our pink Christmas tree. All right, let's go do the next project for that tree. But see the chairs waiting for us to have a little morning break with our coffee. 
sit out, enjoy our view, and dream about Christmases, pink or otherwise. I'm not sure if you can hear that firework sound in the background, but that's been going on all morning as well. And I don't know who would be setting off fireworks in the morning light, but we hear everything from so far away because we're on the sea. Who knows? That could be in Provincetown for all I know. So here's our basic little collection of beach treasures. I didn't go crazy. Our pink tree for inspiration. But I just grabbed some basic mussels, a quahog, some little necks, a couple of oyster shells. Very common things for me to find. I mean, I could just scoop a bucket full of sand and have a bunch of these, but they also might be easy for others to come by, so I thought inspiration-wise that might be good. And in case I decide to spray paint them, which I'm not sure yet, I won't feel bad about it being a special treasure since I have endless mussel shells. One day I have this fantasy of making a little grotto somewhere and just spending hours and hours in my dotage meticulously gluing on oyster shells and little necks and quahogs and feeling a little grotto with mosaics made completely from shells, but that takes lots of time, so that will be in my dotage, I believe. All right, let's get back up and work on some pink Christmas joy. As well as making ornaments from shells for the pink Christmas tree this year, I also wanted to cut some of my lace cap hydrangeas and uh, spray them pink for the tree, so let's do that. Now, you probably can't even see me because I'm backlit, but you know what? Wouldn't you rather look at the sea? than my early morning mug. But what I'm going to do today is I'm taking these lovely lace cap hydrangeas that I uh, cut yesterday. Let's see if you can see those. And uh, you can see I have them in a kitchen roll or a paper towel roll because I, I just, when I'm doing a cluster, I like to stick them like that and that's, and I can stick that into a vase or a container and let them dry that way. And uh, since we're going to be just plopping them in the ground and spraying them, let's get to it. I'm just sticking these in the ground because their stems are nice and firm, which is why I love hydrangeas. They're so beautiful as a living plant. And you can do so many things with their blooms and they dry on the stalk because you want to dry hydrangeas upright, not hanging them upside down. So I often let mine stay on the shrub until I need it. All right. Now for the fun. You know what, we do not have to reinvent the wheel here today. So what I thought I would do, so we aren't spending too much time because I can always do more later, is let's, first I wanted to make a new tree topper for the pink tree. And I have this uh, clip that I got last year. I can't even remember where I got it. Maybe Christmas tree shop. It's just a big box store thing. But it has a little clip on it. So I was thinking, wouldn't it be fun if we took one of my dried hydrangea bits, stuck that in there, and then Maybe took some shells and hot glued shells in there, just as a fun tree topper. Possibly, or maybe we want to use, I was also thinking it would be fun to take these, um, since I'm using these uh, real hydrangea lace caps to replace last year's uh, poinsettias that I just stuck randomly in the pink tree. I was actually thinking these could be adorable if I simply took a shell, like say a mussel shell and glued that in there trusty glue gun. Let's put tons of glue, which solves all the problems. Put the shell in there. Thusly. And then, I mean, that's just really simple. And then I can put a hole through the leaf. Well, what do you know? How's that for fast and easy? I think that actually could be really cute. So I'll make 
another one of those. I wonder if, if this little neck is too heavy to stay on there. I'm going to try. I can manage to not burn myself, which almost never happens when I use a glue gun. See, those are just silly and simple, but since I wanted the pink Christmas tree to now having have a uh, seaside feel, I think those are actually really cute. And then I thought for the new tree topper, we could just cut this down, add some hot glue to it, maybe about here. Good old hot glue. Again, this is quick, and I'll probably spend more time off camera making things look nicer. And then you get the general idea. Put some, maybe some glue on the back of this, like that. Maybe stick it amongst the, uh, the sparkly berries of that. So you get the general idea. So just for a fun beach comb, we got some shells and I'm repurposing things I used last year on the pink Christmas tree to kind of spruce them up a bit. I also might, we'll see later in the week. Oh, I love it when I get them like this. Wouldn't it be cool to take this, leave it open and spray paint it, maybe hot glue a little cute figurine or something down in there, like it's a little treasure box. So, but I just wanted to do a quick little spruce up since today we're doing the pink Christmas tree. I just wanted to add a little bit of our beach combing to the tree and uh, make it part of the premiere video for Sunday's Pink Christmas. Okay, on to whatever part of the video comes next. It's a beautiful day out today, but let's start clearing off the autumnal decorations. Clear off the round table, because this is where I'm going to place the pink Christmas tree. So let's get to it. And here's a close-up of this fabric, which is of my own design. It is a pink whale tartan design I made for a project I was working on, and I had an offcut of the sample I had sent to me, so I thought it was perfect for this year's pink Christmas tree. Well, it isn't uh, that easy to see now because of the light, but I did want you to see, even during the day when you can't have the Christmas lights on, it's just pretty to see. We have our new topper and all my little pink, pink baubles. Here's our new mussel and hydrangea arrangement, <laughs> a funny pink poodle. Here's where we added a little, little neck shell and some more hydrangeas. Uh, I got this last year. I can't remember where, but I just loved the little pink deer. It's very 1960s, 1950s. So now the tree obviously is predominantly pink with a silvery gold tree. But what I think I might do is add a contrast of maybe a green decoration, either a green bulb or green leaves. I'm not sure. We'll decide. Um, but I'll share that later when I, uh, when I add it later in the week because I'm hoping to make a lot of... Uh, Christmas themed videos from now just to keep our Christmas spirit up during this time of the year because 2020 it really needs some Christmas spirit I think. Now I think I'm going to add some moss and some other decorations to my window village here but I've just put up my few simple white houses and added pink accents. Here's Father Christmas and a sheep and a pink Tour Eiffel and Eiffel Tower another white house and a snowman and a little pink goat and a, another white house and a white reindeer. So I think it just adds to the fun. It's nice I can sit here in the morning and I see the sea and I see the sparkle of our pink Christmas tree and then it's nice to see this little village outlined with the sea behind and then I think I will add some moss and some holly and things which I'll share in a vlog later and I think the added hydrangeas and seashell deco is a success. 
and I will probably add more. Hurrah! Pink Christmas tree by the sea. behind me again but at least you can see the sea and I hope you enjoyed today's premiere and today's vlog it was fun uh, taking last year's idea of the pink Christmas tree and turning it into something seafaring this time and uh, I'll probably share it more in the next few vlogs just because I'll be adding to it fixing up the little village behind it a bit more I think I might get some moss from the wood to lay around the little white houses and things so but Thank you for joining me today. I will see you later today in the chats at Lalande and at Dan's, and I will see you later in the week on my vlog in the comments. And remember, stay creative.